gentlemen, people of the internet, this is the Pugdom Realm of the Pug King and home of competitive DBD. It's time to go to battle. The Pug King close up. Now, you happy? Not performing monkey. Who are they? Who, who are we casting? Last night. First up, oh boy versus madness. That, I am flabbergasted. That was beautifully done. You see something we didn't? It did! The eyes of a hawk and the reflexes of a mongoose. But no, yes, he is. He is tunneling and tunneling him hard. Damn, Roy's down. Where's that? Where's that pesky Claudette with a flashlight? Just know she's gonna come from some angle. There she is! Oh! Solar with a solar burn as Samurai leaps on the shoulders and pegs it off into the night. Better stop going back. You better the start hatch. pegging it back. Way back is there. Are we gonna see Devour? I sprint out the corn like a legend. The hatch is open. Where's Devour? There he is! There you go. Go. Oh my god, Devour! But you're gonna be the one to get it. Hunted and camped. He can smell him. He is, is he in the There he is! Gambler and Redbird are dead. He needs to get this hook. He does not get it. Hatch is available. Sprint burst is used. And she makes it out! Killer Shack offering no protection. Geeky little dead hard. Enabling that free hit. Is He's gonna. Is it pride? Uh, Ego. I think it, I think that's gonna where, happen again. This, this no! Oh my god! Out of nowhere! <laughs> that's three times in a row. <laughs> They need to change the name from K the Juca to K the Juicer. K the Juicer, and you know that's what he's going to change his name to. He'll love that, <laughs> especially he'll clip it for his montage. But let's see what happens. In the window, trying to force around. Good play. Leading them down there at the two. We wish them luck. Back in two shakes of a pug's tail. Okay, we are back. Sorry about the stream crash. Slobs being annoying. There were 16 teams. Now it's down to the final four. Rapture, a turn them, a cult, and Infinity. Who will be the best in Europe? And remember, when we get to the finals, we also have a bronze final. There are free prizes in this European Cup, but them free people who win them prizes will also go into our grand final where they will be put into a pool with the top three of the Americas to see who will be the international champion that carries its own prize purse. To qualify for your prize purse in this tournament, you have to play in the grand final. It is a total of $1,000, the biggest that we've ever done, and the grand final sponsored by our own Unknown Streak, the Toxic Cuties. Jolie, what are the killer picks and maps that we've got coming up, if we have time? Okay, so... We have artist Deathslinger, uh, Chucky, Plague, and Zeno as the possible killers, and the two maps that they could have picked of would have been Suffocation Pit and Azeroth. However, on this first trial, we're going to go to see Azeroth's resting place and the Xenomorph. The alien! 
Yep, and it seems like the Xenomorph is having a little bit of a connection issues because he is not moving. Oh, <laughs> I, I, mean, he, I think he was just taking a uh, rest and many apologies, the scorecard, for not updating there. I think because the screen crash has caused a little bit of a wobble, but we should be back. And there we go, sliding away as that towel pokes up and the first survivor is about to succumb to a stabbing. And down goes Yeesh. game over already. Oh, oh that's a fire. Burning. Burn, baby, burn. I was almost going to say Disco Inferno. Almost. Any tips to playing against the Xenomorph? I mean, uh, you really need to be careful of that tail because it is surprisingly accurate. And sharp. You can really wedge it. Uh, in, in between a lot of places that you wouldn't expect it to be able to wedge itself into. And we see someone here taking uh, the little bait. See? Oh, did you see? They were trying God. the body block. And uh, he just nailed it right underneath the Obi. side. It's just so good. It was precision. It was almost over the shoulder of the blocker. And game over, yep. man. Game over. Famous line from Aliens 2 is the one uh, who is going on to the hook. As game oh, over goes first arm. Game over, man. Game over. And we got both helmets, the emergency and Kane's helmet, making it so that whenever he strikes with the tail, they get mangled and Ooh. the flame turrets take 35% longer to take uh, the, uh, the alien out of uh, the, its uh, crawler mode. Wow, here we go. It's going through the tunnels, and as you said, that mangled is almost like an inbuilt sloppy butcher. We've seen yes. Scourge Hook as... Ooh, an immediate for the people here. Scourge Hook as one of the perks corrupt, as we saw very early down. Here's game over. Oh, a shimmy has darted past the precision of Obi's Tau for a turn. -em. We've got a game ahead of us. I'm so glad they picked, picked this killer. You, I wanted a Chucky, but I I'll settle for it. I'll settle for this. Ooh. I mean, I like to see a Zeno. And there's the good Zeno is is a marvel to see. And there's the value of the add-on taking longer to go from the fire fly, uh, f the flamethrower uh, was yep. able to destroy it with a towel. There's the first gen part. <laughs> and a tail strike, and now they're gonna go the long way around to try and. There's no oh, way you make that, yep. We talk about Bokos and Octopus arms going through the window. Who needs it when you've a towel a million feet long with a sharp, stabby knife on the end of it? And both Suffolpit and Azeroth are notorious for their three-gen scenario possibilities. I mean, it's almost... There's no point in having a flamethrower the way he's able just to walk through it and go, your flames don't bother me, bruh. And just hits it. It does. It does stagger the the alien still. Not much though. I mean, he just stepped on it. Also creates a little bit of a visual impairment to his normal vision, so it does help. However, I think the survivors have separated the three gen scenario. Let's see, one gen over there, two over there. Oh no, he has a three. Eh, I mean, somewhat of a three gen over here on this side, I guess. I mean, it would be a staple on this map to have it, but hmm. Yes, somewhat of a 3-gen here on this map. It's not a deep 3-gens, as in the, the gens aren't too deep inside uh, this half of the map. But this one right here, and we see the yellow. Oh, double team, which means no one's on a gen. So the time wasn't completely wasted. I did think it was going to die on hook, but managed to injure two of the team and game yeah. over. A snowball opportunity for Obi. Very well played. And not only that, it was with the tail, so they're mangled. So it takes a lot longer to get the heal up. Yeah. Now, Rupture will want balance to go. Landing. And re will, will want to reset. But Balance Land and Run Into was better off probably going over onto main there. There's the survivors. Game over. It is game over, unfortunately, unless they make it through to um, the final. But There's there nice we bing. go. There's the bin. But it wasn't a gen on this side of the map. That's going to make it a little bit harder. That's I, really going to make it a little bit harder. I, lo I love how quickly you can transverse across the map. 
comes it out, is. hits that. And we can it see is. the tunnels. Sorry, Jolie. Uh, I was going to say, it is pretty uh, remarkable, the speed. Uh, many people sometimes call the Xeno just the better demo. However, I think the playstyles are just very, very different. I think demo, the use of the tunnels is kind of optional, whereas Xeno, you have to use the tunnels if you want the crawler mode. I, I, I think in, in all cases that the, t the tunnels and or portals with the demo first. Are, are essential tools of the actual playstyle of both of them killers. I like the control and the speed, however, that you have with the alien that you can control it and go. Um, also the trail that guides it to the one that you pick so you don't get completely lost, but you can if you see the tip a tap or a tiny feet above your tunnels. Yeah, and the killer instinct is really, really good. We're seeing pop, uh, scourge hook, eruption and corrupt as the perks of choice for the Xenomorph, the OB for return and was chosen. And round Ooh, there's mainly go. That's going to be a tail hit. Oh, he did well oh, to no, shimmy. Oh, no, but he blocks the window. Polotar dancing with the alien itself, and again. Is that a live? That is it a live. That's why he wanted that window. And Obi kind of messed up there, because he could have just went for the M1 and guaranteed the hit. Instead, it decides to... I mean, pretty confident. He has been quite on point. Walk straight into a, a flame trap there. We'll come out and then take, get rid of it straight away with that little burst of speed. But didn't. He's going more for the survivor. The survivor's hanging around here with a firecracker. Not in chase, but here it's Flix. We'll go over the top. Rupture. Rupture not doing too bad. I expect a gen to go any second now. Yeah, that, that gen that was... You haven't that seen Rion. On. There we go. There now, what's the turn we've got to sleeve? Free. Can Rupture upset this? Remember, they have to go back. And there oh, it is. That's nice. the fifth one as Flix goes down. Flix is fresh as a daisy, but so is Boltar and so is Rayun. And Obi needs to show the metal there. Can they get this? And Rayun is, is found. Go if the he gets sure. them, no. he's going to get him straight away. He's going to block him off at the pass. I thought the, the dart was there, went on the outside of that tile, did a good job. We'll, we'll get it there. And there's the and M1. Flix is, up. Flix is up. That must have been Bolotar. If them two come out, that is really applying the pressure to Eternum Survivors and easing it on Rupture's Killer. That is a Death Slinger. Two completely different play styles. But a good display by Rupture. Flix is healed. Rion's on the floor. That's Bolotar to the scene. Mm, that must have been inner healing, I'm guessing, from Flix. No, is he it going? It'll happen too quickly. I think his team are advising him to go back. And there we saw, yeah. I think he's going to sacrifice and stay on a 2K. There's no way that would. Imagine that got him off. There's the survivor. I don't think it can. And there's the exit door open, but is Flix gonna make it? I think he will. Yeah, they're, he, they're he just does gonna know. leave him. I think I think two fresh as a daisy survivors is really putting it up against the Turnham. That is not the score that Obi would have wanted. But nonetheless, it is a two K. Which is will, better than a one K. Rapture will want to do a 2k and one stage or basically a first stage hook and it's on every survivor and then a second one to knock a turn them out to go through a good display by rapture and a turn them struggling there a little bit as the killer well we're going next to a cult versus uh infinity to see what they have we'll be back to you in two shakes of a pug's town
Okay, we're back in the room for our next match of challenges in the semi-final, which is a Colt versus Infinity. Infinity are up killing the first with Doc. And it's a Death Slinger, Jolie. Yep. It is a Death Slinger on Suffocation Pit. So you... we're not going to go back to Azeroth. We're going to go to Suffo this time around. Yeah, well, that's good. It's I still suppose. notorious for three gens, right? Well, even a four gen with the map split. But I'm very yeah. disappointed we're not going to see Chucky. Chucky. The team should be ashamed of themselves. Well, we have Doc for Infinity being boring with a Death Slinger. Going against Slipsky, Archangel, mm -hmm. Lux, and Cartney. But this is a good map for Slinger. Um, we've yeah. seen this plenty of times in um, League. It does normally I... have a gnarly 3 or 4 gen on one side. It does look like it's on more top side with main than it is around Shaq. Uh, but Corrupt is protecting on Shaq's side. One thing I disagree, though. I don't think that really? this is You be... fucking disagreeing? I don't think this is going to be a boring Death Slinger. I, I think that Death Slinger can be very entertaining to watch, especially when you get people that know what they're doing. Well, I was just being salty because I wanted to see a Chucky, but I know what you mean. And there comes in the blocker, Lux and Archangel. This makes me smile when we see a blocker at early stages. I just think it gives more target for the killer to do on that first hook. They should just take it. And Archangel does take it. Doc goes for another quick down. Corrupt has not really been Infinity's friend because, well, they've got such quick downs really early on. Sloppy Butcher has been seen as one of the perks. Um, and, of course, we've Corrupt with two more perks to be revealed. And one of them is a totem, apparently. Oh, you see a glowy one there, can you? Yeah, we it. saw it. Saw it on the top side next to the, the gens. Is that a Nia? I think that's a Nia running away. Oh, got on a miss. I'm gonna go for that reload, and we got the cigar and the warden's keys. Warden's keys reduce the reload time while the cigar makes it so that when the, it, the chain breaks, the recovery time is very, very much reduced. Oh, and the totem goes out very early. That was Ruin, for anyone wondering. Ruin is no longer in the game. And it's actually kind of unusual to see Ruin get played out in Suffo. So quickly. Well, I mean, they've been checking the totem spawns. They're probably looking at that Ruin. I think it's been more popular than Corrupt over this tourney, if you think about it, considering Corrupt wasn't used at all in the first round. Yeah, in a round one. And Ruin seems oh. to be making a, a guest appearance on most of the matches that we've seen. Mm -hmm. So no Corrupt in round one, but after round one, we've been seeing Corrupt pretty regularly. Yeah, yeah, the staple, the staple's back. Just gives that much time. I don't know. I think people Ooh. are scared just not to play Corrupt. It's just so, do you know, just the value. There's always that debate about the value of Corrupt. When you get you a... Placebo? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, what benefit has Affinity had over Corrupt right now? I mean, you could argue that at least they didn't, like, start working on gens straight away, right? So they lost, I'd say, like, 20 seconds of progress. Mm, oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, Joel, Lips, leaps off. Nice. Slip's Sli giving him the slip. Slip is her and lives to fight another day as Archangel runs off. And for the people, and Slips comes in with a blind, but will be the target of Doc's fury. And two gens going off. A cult doing well, starting off strong. And there we oh, go. Oh, yeah, the Warden's Keys. Archangel keeping it real. As he chases, we see Lux is going to come in in the blocker. They're really trying to keep Archangel alive. The lucky mascot. But look at Doc's line. Oh, I thought they were. They did well to double back there. Someone was going to take a shot. Yeah. Another vaccine shot. A shot. Oh, no. He's made it. Is he going to get round? No, he's going to get a tap. Oh! 
Oh, he missed the... the Swiggle and miss. Still got the hit. He got it there. Nice. I think that was the auto-targeting that kind of screwed him up. I think so. There you go. Three gens for a kill. Not what you want to do, but two people are injured. Oh, just as I say that, Lux gets the reset. Now, I wonder why they're called Lux. Is it a League of Legends reference? I have no idea. I don't play League of Legends. What are you talking about? There's only one game. It's DVD. <laughs> There's only one game. There was, no, there was no protection of any kind of free gem, but I think he still has one on the left-hand side, right? I uh, can't really check. If we saw when we swung around there, and as soon as Slipsky wants to keep him out of the game. Do have the teams there. Oh, he's, man he's doing well. He yeah. drops the pallet. Slips is not going to, yeah, he's not going to risk it. No. Blinds him. Now, can he slip away? No. Oh. And look at Doc yes. using the audio cues to yep. go round. That was good play. Slipsky goes down. Mm, I mean, he does have a 3-gen, I guess, on the top side. But it's Slinger. That 3-gen is too far away from each other. It would be very, very hard to protect it. It's not a one. It's not a 150 no. kill. It's a 110. I, I think you could. You see one there and there, knows no one's on it. Really wants to stay down this side. I think he thinks they're down here. I don't think so. I mean, if we look, they are. One of them is not over there. Oh, no, oh, he, he does he, he, know. Yeah. He was absolutely right on the money. Well, it's going to cost him a gen. He's going to go and pursue. But, yeah, Cartney is around there. There's the deli. And we're getting back in stronger and stronger. More and more of the matter are being released per the round balancing that we had for this tournament. And I think it's worked out quite well. It seems balanced between killer and survivor. I don't know what you think. I'm sure we'll be criticized I think it's been, somewhere. It's been pretty good. And honestly, this is the first deli that we've seen all tourney. Well, it's been banned up until this round. Wait, was it deli or was it... <laughs> Or was it uh, Renewal? Yeah, you could be right. Yeah. I didn't check. Maybe Delhi is still banned. I need to check. I mean, you can just swap it and we can see if it's Renewal or not. Go to Slips. Like, we can see if it's Renewal. He's just carrying him to a hook. Yes. You're right. Well, we have Slips with a first stage. Archangel out the game. Lux is fresh. And Cartney's gone on for their first with one gen to go. Can go either way. Can Doc from Infinity turn this around into their favor and manage to finish on a high with 4K? Remember, there are bonus points. Or can a cult manage to get their remaining three survivors out and even Ooh, do a bit of hatch cheeky play? Blast mine. Cheekiness of the blast mine. But Scourge of Corrupt, Ruin, and Sloppy Butcher were the perks of choice for Doc from Infinity. Oh, yeah, Stelly is still banned on round three. It is. It's not until the finals where we're allowing all meta back, apart from outside the general balance and what we have there. Both, um, remember, even if they uh, teams get knocked out of the semis, they need to play for their third place, which is a prize, and also a place in the grand final. Yep. Ooh, that ooh. third place is worth a lot more than usual. Yes. Being in the grand final and playing against each other, and it's not a best of one. Every team in that top six will play against each other. And the one with the most points, or well, the top two with the most points, will play each other to see who will knock out. Looking forward to seeing what that is. And we haven't released any of the rules, killers, or pools, or how we're going to do that. Well, to be fair, we're still in discussions. But you can bet my Lux words it's going to be fun. taking a hit there. I think you should have went for Lux. <gasps> yeah, oh. there's Courtney. You okay. really should have stayed on Lux. Colt doing very, very well. Doc... Needs to try and find the fresh as a daisy. He doesn't with Slipsky. Ideally, wants Lux if he can get his grubby hands on him, take them full points. 
But I think Slipsky is going to be the one who's going to be the sacrifice. It's going to break him here. Flipped in the deep room. That exit door is open. He's trying to pull him away. Knows it's the far door that's opened. Yep. Can Slipsky has a get long away? Long way to go. Nope. Can't he? Lux escapes fresh as a daisy. Slipsy goes down though. This is going to be a seven hook game, apparently. Seven hooks, eight for a Colt when they come back, and they are playing as a Death Slinger. We will be going back to the Eternum game where Rapture is also playing as a Death Slinger. I take it they've chose this map for the next game, Charlie. Did you see? Yep, it is Suffolk Pit for Death Slinger. So the only Azeroths we saw was the Casino. 15 points apiece. A good display from both. Fairly evenly matched, as you would expect in a semi-final. But we will find out who will be going through to the final, Infinity and Colt, after the final trial of the semi-final between Aeternum and Rapture. And we will be back to you in two shakes of a pug's tail. Okay, we are back in the room for a match between Rapture and Eternum. Boltar or Bolotar is the killer for Rapture. Win conditions have been set. Eternum got a 2K. So a 2K in one stage will do it for Rapture or a first stage on every survivor and a second stage on one survivor will also do it unless Eternum can escape through Hatch, which gives them a bonus point. On top of that, different variations of what them wing conditions will be. But let's see what Boltar has up the stage. What? Did change. He shot it through the gap. And Dundar is now being pursued by Boltar. And Rapture off to a quick start. Corrupt being seen as we do. As we run round. Looking for where Dunder went. Managed to Houdini it out of there. Dunder's still in main. You can hear the grunts of pain. But considering that he has the window there to work on. Like, that is such a good loop against the Slinger. How was he running so quick? Was that a little balance landing off the thing? I think it was. Duck down. Dunder doing well. Round we go. Oh! Got him over the top. What a shot yep. by Boltar. Over the top rope. Shot through the face. And it's not going to be easy. I was almost going to start singing a poncho. Shot through the face. <laughs> the Death Slinger. You give shots a bad name. Daniel, you don't know what I'm fucking talking about, do you? I hate you, yeah. you young person. No, no it's, it's uh, Bon Jovi. Sing it then. Shot of the heart, and you're to blame. That's not singing it, you name. monotone. Sing it like you got heart. <laughs> Next time Boltar gets a shot, you're gonna have to say, Fine. Shut Fine. the heart. Fine, I will. Good, you salty and, bugger. Okay, we're do down by we're voice. down by Shack. So normally we see um, on Suffo that mainly people hang around Main, but we are seeing it down there. Uh, preferring this, will be protecting. He does have a four gen there as well as the crow flies. Top left's a bit out of the way, but they broke it just in front of him. I mean, not only that, but he he has this gen that's just regressing. That made no sense. What happened? Front. Was there a gen just over the top of the hill? There was. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. There is one over uh, next to Shack, I believe, I right in front of Shack door. That, although it's early doors, that could have potential effects by not going and checking that, considering how close that hook was, to protect that territory. I, I think he may regret that. Now it is early doors, so I'm not going to be too scathing, but it could oh be an God, issue. Oh my God! He gets saved immediately. There's the for the people, as the always. Animal. The Are we going to see the shot? No, a slow vault coming through. There's a quick vault. There's a lithe. 
he runs across, tries to shoot through, doesn't, can't. Oh, and he's gonna go for Dunder all the same. Dunder a little, little shimmy. Little Just shimmy. Hiding underneath. Bolotar is completely confused. Dunder just pulled a Houdini. No! He was hiding in the grass. Remember, a turnum need all five gens, and they need to escape with two freshers of Daisy plus another survivor state. Or two freshers of Daisy need to get out. One of them through Hatch will also do it for them. Oh, shot through the heart. And he is to too blame. late. You give Dunder a bad name. Oh! <laughs> that would have been a nice save coming in. Who was that? I think that was Daimao. I think so. Dunder's down. And out. Is it for the last time? Well, no. Because if they're in the final or in the bronze final either way, we will probably see them again. Now. A little bit of a progression there. What I'm surprised mean? the behavior hasn't changed uh, Death Slinger to a 110 killer yet. Like, this is a hard... This is, like, two top, two bottom. It's going to be hard for him on this killer to do. Uh, mm -hmm. Turn him need to split the map. But what which he one would you? Which one would you defend? I would probably go Shaq, maybe. But what he needs to do, do is you? probably get two survivors... Hook one yeah. on first stage and then go find the other one and hook them and just camp them out. And that's the secured yep. win for Rapture. Whether they'll do that or not, it is a bit of a boring way to play. But points mean prizes and there is a cash bounty uh, for people to win. Um, the I'm e really surprised, though, that Bolt is isn't running Noed. Yeah, each cup is a $300 purse. And then the grand final is a $400 purse that people share. So there's a lot at stake here. Yeah. But Re Bolter not bringing Noed means that he's very confident in his slinger capabilities. Yes. Well, I mean, what, what have we got? Agitation, tie. Pop, Scourge, Scourge and, and corrupt. Uh, corrupt is the build. Oh, oh my god, he was my, hiding. What, what was he doing down there? Having a rest? Hiding. He was hiding. Having lunch? I mean, how long was the guy down there? Rocket. It was more of a salad move. See what I did there? Round we go. Oh, oh a dodge and a wow. miss. I mean, we're teasing Rocket, but rocketed across and dodged Bolotars. Now, this could be a turning point. Depends how Rocket can keep going. There's that gen. There's one. They need one more. And, I mean, oh my word. Is this going to be a 1v1 on Shaq? Now, oh, if, it, if he God. gets him and picks him up... Puts him on hook. He knows that there's someone oh, here. Oh no! I this mean, this is this not a work. good idea. Oh, he's got. Oh, oh, oh! Is he going? He is going after him, which means he's. There's Jesus, he's. He, I think this is going to be a draw if he manages to camp him out. They need to get him out or get one of them out through hatch. Yeah. I mean, they could always go for the save though. Well, they there can. There is a gate nearby. They can. That gate is nearby. They know for a fact that he doesn't have Noed. The only way they could have done that is that they must have cycled round and one on Jen and the other one said 90, I'll go get him and the other one come on there or something similar to that. That was a very gate. super fast for them two Jens. Turn them shown why they are one of the top teams. The exit doors are open. Now, if one goes out, well, he has to let uh, um, Rocket die. Wait, but do they do they win? They can get hatched for bonus points. Yeah, that's what I mean. They could win. Otherwise, oh, it's going to be a draw on one v one on Kalshed, bro. Yep, they got they got to go for the hatch here in order to get the win. Or get Rocket. Now they are on the other side. I mean, I think Rocket is just going to give up on Hook. And either Karma or Daimao is going to go through the hatch to get those bonus points. I think, no, they were, no, they were trying back. to go for the rescue. I think they're not counting the bonus points from Hatch, honestly. Because, they're it, again, it, it is not a common occurrence 
for bonus points to be awarded. Because he's on the wrong side of the map. He's at main, so no one is protected, and there's Rocket, right? We're going to have to go, go there's on there, the there's Karma. And, then time out. and, and there, there we go. go. There's the win. There's a the tournament being sneaky. Karma's out there. I don't think the Death Slinger knew that they do get bonus points to hatch. This will secure it. And there he goes out. And a Turnum have done a sneaky preventing the draw of Rapture with that bonus point for hatch. And that's why we played the bonus points. To prevent draws. And the Turnham did it. They will be going to the final. But Rapture, don't go anywhere. That was superbly done. I honestly thought Rapture were going to knock a Turnham out. I honestly thought it. Not going to lie. But Turnham beat them by two points. Rapture, stick around. Thanks for your participation so far. But you will be in the bronze. There's still a prize to play for. And still a place in the grand final for you to do. But a Turnham will be going into the final. Will they be facing Infinity or a Colt? Well, you will find out as we will turn around the lobbies and be back to you in one shake of a pug's town. Okay, we are back in the room and hang on <laughs> to readjust myself. And I've lost Jolie. I don't know where he's gone. Give me a second. But we are back for um, Jolie. <laughs> back for Jolie. We are back for yeah. a cult versus affinity. Why I was struggling. While I was struggling, there was um, some issues that we needed to sort out. A cult mm -hmm. were being very naughty, and they bought two deja vus. And the rule states mm -hmm. that is a minus two perk infraction. But there is also uh, a bit around, does it influence the change of the game? And that's where we're looking at in regards to the effect that a gem being completed in Scourge Hook could have turned around. So we... Basically, any penalty that we give, we then give the same as additional points to the other team. So the start of this actually is 17-13, which puts a Colt back on the back foot. Wing conditions are down. They need a 3K instead of a 2K and one stage that they previously needed. 17 mm, points I mean, to 13. Plague, it's definitely possible. It is, but Infinity aren't going to lay down. It is a shame about a cult, but look, we have these rules here for a reason. So, here we go. MPY covered it in spew. Cub is the killer for a cult. As they try and, then... and fight their way into um, the finals. Yep, and you all that are watching, do not be naughty, naughty, and play by the rules so that we don't have to give you any minuses. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> now, the vileness of what we see there, corrupt as one of the perks of choice that we see. MPY is broken with sickness. Cereo is now infected, as is Doc. Oh, Doc. Does Doc have the medicine? to get themselves out the plague we don't know but is the one who has been shown and Cub is basically going round spewing up over everybody a nice little strategy as John Wick Ferub is the only one that hasn't been infected I just realized something that you're not as good as me the that I'm the fact better that... looking can I speak? Come on. No. The fact that you need to hold a gen until 5% is completed, it's an indirect buff to Plague because of the infection. Before, you could just tap it and not get infected as much. But now, if you have to hold it for that long, it means that the infection rate goes up a lot more. So you can't be a healthy survivor working on an infected gen as easily. I think so. Doc is down. Infection is oh, there. Uh yeah, and we got double apple. Forgot to mention that. The what? The apples. Double apple. Yeah, don't. Yeah. yeah. I don't like pull. double apple. I prefer apple and um, talisman. Why? It's, it's, uh, because the talisman gives you 20 seconds extra power. 
And I think that those 20 seconds are so valuable and can make such a difference. Well, we should see a gem pop any time soon. We know uh, Sirio and MPY are working on them. They did get infected while over there. Firob is running around. There's the first one. We'll probably see a double ping. Infinity will need to get all of them. Now, taking that infection, that is going to be their second pull unless they cleanse. So, wants to make use of it. I probably yeah, wouldn't have used it until side. later, right? I mean, you could have waited, but this is a good way to camp uh, the survivors to second stage for free, essentially, right? Because no one wants to, no one wants to come in for the save if the plague has the power, unless you can do a stealth save. Yeah, well, Firob's there, couldn't come in. He is fully healed, but Doc will go. But I think we'll be punished if we have a look. Someone oh, look over that. this side, but they're going to break the free. No one's really protecting territories. Which is a first for me watching teams on this map. Yeah, people usually go very heavily on uh, on protecting a three gen so much so that you would see games last so long because of it. Well, let's see what happens when we get to the tail of the S tiers for the next one. Well, F tiers plus a Wesker and an Oni. Controversial. I doubt we're going to see any Weskers. Do you think it's just going to be Nurse all the way? I don't know. Let's see yeah. what happens. And there yep, we are, everyone's infected. Fully infected. infected. Baseline oh. comes in, Doc did well to do the block, but I think he was after fear of, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He's just and ignoring that, that complete top block. side. Look at that double ping, bada bing, as Infinity get them gens out of the way. Now the map is split two on two either side. It's going to be really hard to police. And gens will be done. Nice. Does he, know, on his head. does he know the win condition? I mean, does he? I don't know. I mean, is he going to go over to the other top side there? Ah! The win con is uh, 3k. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a 3k. But if he gets two stages on every survivor, I think that is also the win con, right? True. That is true. For Rob's off, broken, the whole team are. He's using corrupt. It's a shame that uh, Tanatophobia is not in play. Would have had so much value. You see someone running off there. The yeah, but that's a pre drop and a half. The vileness. I think it's Doc. It's not who he wanted. Well, maybe it is because he'll be out of the game. Oh, gee, he did oh. well. He's just hang it, hanging on. Oh, and there you go, Doc's down for the count. Sorry about that, and you were muted on the sounds there. We are just talking to the mods. There, were, there is a game glitch, but it has gone past a gen and even two minutes. If you notice that there's been no blood loss, although we didn't notice because Cub was playing so well, but hasn't been going in, and now chase music is happening, but the lust wasn't kicking in. We'll need to discuss it, but the exit doors are open. Doc is out. MPY is on the ground. Does he get the win con from this, though? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm trying to see the uh, if I'm looking here. There's all kinds of weird be, shit it's going be on. Three, it's it's going to be, what, uh, six? It's going to be an eight-hook game. 
Is it enough, Pog? No, I mean, if he camps out MPY, I think so. If I'm looking right, if I've got the right one, there are six hooks, three, four, five, six. I think, have they miscalculated that? Maybe. I think they have. I mean, so oh, even no, with a, a, a bug favoring. I need to check with the mods, but I think that's a draw. <laughs> Oh no! The I need to check though. I do need to check. Um, we'll be back to you. Give me two seconds while I just check what's going on there. Okay, sorry about that. I was just confirming the scores. In fact, it was 31 to 28. That plus two and minus two really hindered Occult. But Infinity deserved to go through. They are in the final Occult. Don't go anywhere. You'll be battling out for a third place bounty and your place in the grand finals. We will be back to you, but it will be a final between... Um, Infinity. Infinity and, and a turn... Aeternum. Stop saying Aeternum. We'll be back to you in two shakes of Lem's Pubx Tower as we get this set up. Okay, we are back in the room. Sorry, Jolie, I haven't... There you are, with your big fucking head. Apologies for that. We had drama and drama galore. Unfortunately, we um, Rapture had a game bug uh, to prevent uh, Chase Music or going into Lust. Fortunately, it was past our rule of over two minutes. Over two or three gens had been done. We don't do restarts. I always would be restarting all the time with behavior. And uh, the previous game, they had double perks for points. Unfortunately, it meant that they went out to Infinity. Uh, I can understand the frustrations of the team, but they have decided not to go into the bronze final, unfortunately. I have enjoyed them. I'd like to thank them and their captain and their players. Um, it is frustrating, but unfortunately, there's not much we can do. We will revisit it, which means Rupture go through into the grand finals and take that purse. And now we're going to see who will be crowned the EU champion. Will it be Eternum or will it be Infinity? Both of them will be in the grand finals. It is the top three that will be going through uh, who will play against the winners of the America's Cups, who we will be drawing after this um uh, this final. There won't be a bronze. This is the final. It is Infinity killing first with Doc on the Nurse against Karma, Spitz, Dunder, and Diemo of Eternum. Who is going to come out on top, Jolie? 
Oh, it's definitely nurse. <laughs> definitely uh, <laughs> infinity, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I think Eternum uh, have chosen the Blight. So no, yes, they have. Yeah, no one. Swing and a miss. Karma legs it out the window with a bit of life. There's no banning of any of the meta perks. Just the general balancing as we move on. What about the on. map perk? It's, it's a weird map to be seeing in comp in general, isn't it? What? This map in particular. No, it's not every day that you see different maps than what we do in comp, right? Yeah, I suppose so. Sanctum of Wrath or the Temple um, of, purgation. of Purgation are the maps on choice. And they, I, I think they've both chosen this map, haven't they? They probably haven't now I've said that. Nope. Of course Sanctum not. of Wrath for the Nurse and the Temple of Purgation for the Blight. Wow. Which I completely understand why you would want... Uh, why you would want a Sanctum of Wrath on the light. It's, it's, it's a lot easier to bounce. This map in particular seems like it's uh, light slides off way too much. Maybe it's because of the rain, I don't know. But yeah, it, it, is, it is a big, big, big deal when it comes to playing Blight on this map. And I'm not, and I, and I'm not a good Blight, but I can definitely say oh! that it is absolute horseshit to play on this map. He got completely... Blight. Completely stuck on the corner. Uh, Karma oh, yes. is dangling there. We did see a survivor over there. I think we're going to see two. He is going to camp that out. Scourge Hook Please. is the perk, and we've seen Agitation and Corrupt as the other perks of choice. Sorry, what were you yeah. telling me to wait for, Joey? I was going to say, I was going to say, uh, I was going to say, yes, please, Doc. Do, do bug Nurse again so that we have to restart the match. <laughs> Shut up, Joey. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Fury. Uh... Pop Goes the Weasel is the last one to be revealed. Karma is now off. Already, we come should. Come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. They come and go. They come and go. Karma is going to be turned into a chameleon. He's being chased by Doc over the top and down the other side. But Karma doing a good job to get some distance, pull him to the edge. And I think he went to the right. This is a good. Oh no, he didn't. He went nope. to the left. He went to the corner. He went to the corner. Keeping it tight. Hey, um, but we oh, should. Are we gonna? S oh yeah. No. No. No DS coming through. What a shame. Oh, I think they e they are eating through them, gents. There's spits. It's gonna be a little bit of a pass, but I think there's gonna be a double ping there in about 15 seconds. Second on. Can oh, Doc left. get over there? See oh, Spitz. nice little hit on the Spitz. And Spitz acting as a bit of a distraction, and I think where Dunder and Diamo get two gens popped off you can hear it churning away and there's one nice Spitz goes down we'll be making away karma is off oh no and there's the save he's gonna go for the pop goes the weasel that's very smart now if he hooks no he's not gonna he chooses not to hook Spitz then what is that that is an add-on Ooh. Spicy. Close. That is the add-on. That is the tooth add-on that we can see right there. That's going to be a light coming in from the ace. Yep. This is back up. Was that an unbreakable? Only time will tell. Oh, chopping some stone, I guess. <laughs> some wood. I mean, this ain't Minecraft. I don't. I don't. I don't. Know if Doc got the memo. I thought you were more of a Power World player. Bro's got Power World. Yes, I do, and it is absolutely lovely. But enough about that. There's another slice off of Karma's back. He must be he must be running out of Karma with how many slices Doc has taken. Well, the Doctor's at home as Karma goes down in the pallet. Spitz has been healed, I think, from a med kit. I think Dunder and Damo are gen jocking around. I don't think we've seen them at all. But Karma is out and back to the campfire for the last time. Thank you for your service in this Grand EU Cup Final. As it is a $300 prize pool. I can't remember what's the spread of first, second and third prize. I will have to check it. And then $400 uh, well, yeah, for the Grand uh, Final with the six contestants. Prize. Yeah, I think, I think I know. The third prize gets most of the money this time around. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wouldn't that be a fun one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Aiming for third place instead of first. Uh, that would be a fun tournament. Well, the fr so when we have the grand final, we have all these free European teams, a tournament, Affinity, and now Rapture. And they'll be playing against the free from the America's Cup. And they all play each other in a pool. And whoever gets the top two points will then play off each other to see who is the grand international champion to share in that prize pool. Um, and there's no third place prize in that one. Oh, there's no third place prize on that one. Is there only two winners? Yeah. It's grand final. Oh my god. It's like the Champions League. That's exactly. It's the Puck League. Tiamo's down. Karma's out the game. I think they're going to at least get another gen off. Let's have a look. That one's halfway through. They are spread across. I think they're going to get it done. Wait, was that deja vu? <laughs> Working on the gen. What are you doing? Stop it. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. Because it, it, it had a yellow bar, so I'm just asking if that was deja vu or not. Well, swing and a miss. Interrupted that, and Pop is going to regress that progress if he was going to use it which he doesn't and, oh he sees one there that's just about a blow is he going to get on time and it looks like that's a deliverance that's come off i'm presuming it is could be second win renewal and around we go mm, it might have been deli there Doc's having a little bit of trouble traversing through the main building onto the other side of the map. It's, it's been, it's, it's, I think it's the second time that he um, he kind of misses that blink. Oh, who is this? This is Slips, and again another slice off of his back. Coming through as we hear the gen bubbling away on the back. And she's gonna make it back there to Shaq once again. Checking. The wheezing of Sally. Jen's still bubbling away nicely. And Dunder goes nice down. Nice little corner tech. Can Doc finish this off? Can he? Is he going to slug? Try and get them all. They are injured. They need to reset. What's the tactic here, Jolie? I mean, from a killer point of view, you, you know, a slug would be the most effective tactic. Oh, but... a shimmy in, in and out. Shake it all about. Dunder goes in the locker, throws down the pallet, and they manage to get off another gen. That's an important gen in turn and got off there. Yeah, and it might be another one if they're not careful. I think so. If you can get need, this. He will need a pain res. He needs a pain res right now. And I don't think there is one nearby. Oh, no. Yeah, there it is. If, if that hook would have been a pain res right in front of him, that gen would have never popped. On goes Dunder. Now, Spitz is fresh as a daisy. Do you take the 2k here or do you go hunt for more? Oh, door is about to get open. Is he going to stop on that? That's not the one that you want. No, he wants the fresh. Are they going to leave him? No, they've There's saved save. him. You know he's over there. Is he going to go back? He what? He really wants to get Spitz, who is fresh. That important three points and camping out. That would be a, a nice little break. I think he's he's got him as well. As he tries to shimmy. Is that him in spikes? It is. No, it's not. It's Diamo. Oh, he'll be disappointed in that. I think he thought he was chasing Spitz. With the rain and everything, it's really hard to tell who's who. Well, on goes Spitz Diamo. Gets, uh, gets a heal. I'm going to guess that... Uh, are they trying to play for the bonus points of Hatch? Maybe. That would be an it's interesting. Definitely opening it over do. there. You see how Spitz is now healed. He's probably over by Hatch. They're on the gate there. Remember, Spitz is fresh. Why it's so important. 
I'll wait until Dioma goes. Would you yes, risk it's though? Dunder. Dunder waiting there. He's waiting for Diamo, and there we go. I'm gonna go out, and then we're gonna see. Here's the hatch play. Mission Impossible. Dun 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 dun. Oh no! no. It was a trick, He's, was it? Yeah, he, I, th I think I think that he was gonna go for hatch, but uh, since he saw the killer go there, he decided it's best if I don't try hatch and then die in the process. Well, there we go. It is a tight game already. We'll be turning around the lobbies quickly and we'll be back to you in two shakes of a pug's tail. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the room for the for one last, last time. For one last time. Well, until next weekend when it's the America's Cup. But it is Infinity versus Eternum. The win conditions are set. It is a blight, and Obi is turning up to take the killer mantle. And what yep. he will need, or what they will need to do, is a 2K and two stages to claim victory. And well, Infinity, they need to do all five gens and escape with two fresh as a daisy survivors, or the equivalent of, um, or the equivalent of <laughs> them points. Four stages. You know what I'm okay, fucking yeah. saying. I don't know. It's, it's, yep. been, it's been a long day. Light, okay. Light, light, we light, have a blight light, light, with light. Obi. And they are facing off against Infinity Survivors. Doc, Firob, Cyril, and NPY. The trial. And basically, the winner of what we have here will be um, taking nice. home a Already. $200 for first prize, 75 for second place, and 25 for third place. But the grand finals, which they will be competing in in two weeks' time, will be a first place of 300 and a second place of 100. Ooh. Loads of money and bounties to be given. This is best of one. We'll find out. Oh, the pitter patter! But I thought yeah. Doc was going to get it Doc out. Doc almost got it. He almost, almost did. But he bottled it. And Firob was like, mad. Doc, you did not get me. That's my French impression. And remember, these are the add-ons that have been changed by behavior. So both uh, speed add-ons have been nerfed over to half of what they are originally were, I believe. And we're this forcing people to one. take the Blighted Rat and Crow. There's nothing else that you could have selected with a Blight. Obi oh. chose to do this for a turn. -in. He's confident in what we have. A swing down for Rogue. What a down! Is down. Well, he was an octopus arm over the pallet. <laughs> a slowish fault. It would have been oh, interesting. Oh, there's the D! There's the D! There's Finally, the D. we got one D. Is there double D? No, Firoff no. goes down. A short, low, a short lived D. I mean, yes, against S tier killers, Decisive doesn't really do much unless you're in a tile that allows it. And since he already broke the pallets, yeah, you can't really do much about that. And it's two hooks for one gen. And uh, a lot of health states. Doc and, uh, and NPY were also injured by that. But this is the first time, Pug, that we're finally seeing a killer protect an area. Yes. Finally, he's protecting this area, this three-gen scenario that he has. And he doesn't want to leave that area. Well, that's all well, he... I mean, if he just gets a 4K, zero, he wins, right? They need yeah, two survivors a 4K, out. A 4K at any given point makes does give them the win. And I think that like Light might have the advantage against the Nurse. I was joking uh, when I said earlier that the Nurse was going to win because Blight has been... Such on a good streak. Why do you lately. say that? Because you're wrong? You think this is going to be wrong? <laughs> yeah. <I'm joking. laughs> I, th I think Blight's going to win this one willy nilly. Very easily, too. Oh, Firob taking that baseline hit. And importantly, it's going to try and stay live. MPY is on there. Unbreakable is back in the game. As I said, most of the matter is Firob's down. Obi on fire with a Blight. Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
Again, I don't and know why you keep saying it in a Voldemort voice. It's the boy who lived to live to gain. <laughs> For Obi, Obi, the one who lived with the blight. Obi Wan is Star Wars. Stop it! You're ruining childhood dreams. <laughs> Doc. Oh, and I swing across. Doc is down, and not out. Can he last? Oh, Obi. Oh, that would have been sublime as he skirted up them, uh, up them stairs like a legend. But hot on the towels on Doc. He is. Oh, he'll get the thing down. He does the animation to get in the towel. Is there a someone around? Obi's going to have a look. He can feel the force. The force. He's onto the well, droids. I mean, he has to be careful if the force doesn't slap that pellet across in his head. Can we hear the tipper tapper? No. This is oh, not the, force the palette. Was not with him. The, this is not the palette you are looking that for. That you seek. <laughs> this is not the palette that you seek. Uh. Star Wars. Oh, no. Oh, this, my God. There this, you go. This is Did not well played. going well for Infinity. Did you all play? You, you've you've condemned them already. <laughs> there's deliverance. Oh, there's off. a deli. Okay, that's this can turn it around. Swing and a miss. Ooh. As Obi misses and Cyril goes over there, there is uh, three more gens to be done. It is a tough spot for them to be in. They all basically Obi needs is a fresh hook to draw the game. If they were to do all the gens and get out of this stage, but plenty yep. of time. Pressure all is he needs, uh, firmly is been applied to Infinity. And here we go. MPY is going to take a slap as he tries to bob and weave through these creepy statues that continuously look at you. Oh, damn. When we finally saw Eruption activate on that gen. So all the perks are Eruption, Pop, Scourge, Pain Res, and Corrupted Intervention. Yeah, that pain res. Oh, there's a pallet. Oh, fuck. Have you played with the new Blight Eerie add ons? I have not played DVD or even cast a DVD for two months. I had a break. As you we did with Tony. You need to play with the new, with the new, uh, with the new Blight uh, Eerie add ons. You're going to love it. He's like on crack or something, is he? Uh, he you, you can infinitely rush. Nice. Ah! Oh, God damn. Doc's down for the count. We should have allowed dead? it. We should have allowed it. I know. It, infinite rush blight. This is what happens yeah. when the masters of balancing get involved. And we can't have fun on S tier. It has to be balanced. Well, we just want unlimited power. Infinite bounces, but uh, it goes on a 20 second cooldown when you hit a uh, survivor while, while during a rush. What a cool superpower it would be to infinite bounce. Doc is off. But. Oh, it might not be off for long. It's near enough to win condition. They need to get them gens done, and they can escape through hatch to bring back factory victory, but they can't Damn. get on another hook. They cannot. Doc is on death hook. MPY is on death hook. Cyril is untouched, unscathed. Has had the juice of the tournament of the EU Cup, I think, on yesterday's match on Midwich. MPY oh. is down. Still not dead, though. Right? Oh, no. You she's said, dead. yeah, I said death hook. Did you not trust me? I, I, I generally thought there was one more hook left for her, but seemingly not. And the win con for Obi is growing ever closer. It's one more hook, isn't it? No, he already has it. Isn't it nine hooks? Uh, to, depending on the stages that you had, he has a 2k in two stages. First and second, and that's 17 points compared to the 15. Oh, a little bit damn. of sprint burst. Okay. There's Doc. It has. Well, I mean, they can if they can get if they can get three gens done with two players and out there. And look at that. He's waving. Come get me. And he's like, oh. no, dude. Come get me, bro. Come get me. 
Sarah Damn. was like, I want some juice. The confidence. Now, are we going to see oh. a Syria loop? One Here we go, shot. 1v1. No? Did he say? I, mean, I guess he went downstairs. No. Did he? No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I told you. Oh, but the oh, blind comes through. The blind comes through. The annoyance of Cereal. He will fight you with two hands behind his back. Up he goes. Doc crawling probably over to Hatch. Zero is going to bring him as far away as he can. Oh, a swing and a miss. This is going to go on his Pugdom Tournament looping montage. As juicer of the tournament. Is he going to get... Oh, I thought he should have dropped the pallet. I thought he was going to get away. Uh, there is no getting away from Obi. He has the force with him. Aeternum will be crowned champions yep. of the EU Cup. However, it doesn't stop there. The grand final will have three Europeans in it against the Americas, which will be drawing shortly. Yep. And that will, will be, that's Aeternum. And Infinity will be in there. They do claim their 75 second prize from this tourney, but will compete in the grand final. And as I said, it's a $300 and $100 prize amongst them teams competing against each other 301 <laughs> 301 uh, still that's a pretty impressive uh, day that we had today all things considered with this final blight game putting an end well not an end but a pin on the odds of uh, of the pugdom tournament I can't wait to see what uh, our brethren all over on the Americas have in store for us. Well, we're going to uh, play that now as we're going to do the uh, pick. Why is your head so big? Let me, let me, why is it so big? Let me, uh, let me I mean, get Jolie uh, back to normal. Great, there he is. Hang on, can I get him now? I don't know what's going on. With I'm smart. I'm smart. That's why I have a big head. Hang on a Mega mind. <laughs> I don't want to be showing the messages and stuff here. Capture window. That's not what we want. Oh, I don't know why this stuff don't does worry. it to me. Don't worry, guys. Jolie okay, hang you. on. I've also got my uh, little. Uh, it is that time just to announce. No, it's not. It's this. No, it's not. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god, here we go. As sixteen yeah, sixteen competes. We have one winner. And one winner of the European Cup, and it is of course a turnum. Yes, I was I was in Oh, it's gonna keep going. Here, I'm gonna go back to the chat, I'm sorry. <laughs> So, uh, you get the idea. Okay, let's uh, do, do the this. Pool, the, the reveal of the team. We are um, going to do it. We are going with to Brooklyn, do it. Right? We are. You can stay around as well if you want. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, but, okay, let's have a look. Brooklyn always does it with you. So Join I the Pugdom Discord for more information. Puglicious.